in this part we will discuss continuous probability distributions okay first of all i'll take the normal distribution so how to obtain the curve or the plot of normal distribution we will take the command curve d not d for probability mass function in case of discrete probability distribution function and d norm d for here probability density function in case of continuous probability distribution function so d norm of x and the range of x now we have to take we can't take minus infinity to infinity we have to define it so let's take minus 6 to 6 so you can see here this is the plot of normal distribution and the range we have taken of x minus 6 to 6 right now if we want to calculate the probability right so how to write we write the probability basically we write capital f with some value b minus capital f a so let's calculate that probability p norm p norm because p is for cumulative distribution function cumulative probabilities p norm 1.96 minus p norm at minus 1.96 it is 0.975 means 97.5 percent area is covered in this one right and how do you define it basically this is something like let me write it for you probability this is a less than or equal to or less than you can say x because in continuous distribution equal to doesn't make any difference this is equal to f b minus f a right this is it doesn't uh, consider right so this is what this definition f b minus f a you can see this is f b minus f a capital f means the cumulative probabilities right now if this is this d norm this command is valid for standard normal distribution where mean is zero and variance is one if the mean is something the mean is something different from zero and variance something different from one then how do we take if x follows normal four comma nine means mean is four and variance is nine then how do we calculate the probability how do we calculate the probability then we calculate the probability p norm first of all the value 6 comma 4 mean and then the standard deviation 3 okay minus p norm add 2 comma mean comma standard deviation what is this basically this is when x follows normal 4 comma 9 4 is the mean and variance is 9 so this is basically f6 minus f2 okay f6 minus f2 or probability x varies from 2 to 6 this is basically probability x varies from 2 to 6 in case when x doesn't follow standard normal distribution right how to draw the curve of standard normal distribution curve instead of d norm we will take now p norm p norm x but p if x is not a standard normal variate then 4 comma 4 comma you can take 3 
standard deviation comma limits of x see it may be i mean mean in case of when x doesn't follow standard normal distribution let's see once more one more command this p norm x comma 2 comma 3 let's say okay so this is when mean is 2 when mean is 4 the difference is that x follows normal 4 comma 9 here x follows normal 2 comma 9 9 is the variance so 3 is we are taking as standard deviation okay if you want to generate the random numbers the command is r norm r norm 100 suppose you want to generate 100 random numbers from standard normal distribution okay and if you want to generate random num random numbers 100 random numbers from the normal distribution with mean 4 and standard deviation 3 these are the random numbers okay but see i will generate once again the random numbers from a standard normal distribution these are not the same the 100 number you can see This is one point six zero three seven something, and this is minus zero point two nine. So these are random numbers. They keep on changing. If we want that they don't change, they are they should be same. We set a seed value. Set dot seed. Any seed value, anything. I mean one two three four five. For example, I set a seed value, and then R norm. Let's compute hundred and hundred random numbers from standard normal, and now let's check it again. It won't change now. Now seed value again, the same seed value. Set dot seed. Seed value should be the same. Okay. See now. these random numbers are same because seed value is same so if you want to keep your random numbers same you should fix a seed value okay now if quantile function you want to see then q norm q norm 0.975 let's see see 1.96 so Point nine seven five quantile of standard normal distribution is one point nine six. All right, you can check so many. Anything you can check at point nine five you can check point nine two five you can check. So there are so many things which you can check. Okay, let's see seed value one two three. Okay. and random numbers uh, i'm generating a small random number 10 random numbers for normal distribution with mean 4 and variance 3 so you can see this again the same you can check these will remain so you can see these will remain the same if seed value is same the random numbers will be same they won't change all right so this is about the continuous probability distribution normal distribution standard normal distribution 